Hey guys, Adam here in the Aeroworks Workshop and just three days ago I put out a video which I'll put a link to somewhere up here or down in the description uh, regarding the, my frustration with the current state of engine manufacturers and specifically these engine manufacturers that rely on other countries or that are owned by Chinese companies supplying engines to Americans. So, as you know, I was originally going to install the Titan IO370, the experimental version, in the Super Duty. I already bought the Firewall Ford kit. Uh, I had been planning along for that. And when I reached out to Zenith uh, earlier last week to order that engine, um, they said that the engine manufacturer is no longer taking orders because whatever, they're short handed, short supplied. Um, I was willing to wait the six to eight months, but they just wouldn't even take the order. So uh, a few of you commented on the video. Somebody said try Aerosport. I reached out to Canada Aerosport Engines, who actually make the engine in the factory Super Duty. Got a reply back saying that they get their cores from Continental and they're not taking any orders. So uh, engine choices started windling down. And make a long story short and a, and a great uh, news update for you. Um, on both my Facebook comments and my last video, uh, Alyssa from Viking Aircraft Engines reached out and said, listen, we can, we can get you an engine right away. Um, we'll, we'll sort out the, the miscellaneous stuff that you're dealing with. Give us a call. So uh, if you recall back in one of my future episodes, I can put a link down to the engine video. I did do a popular, three popular choices for the Super Duty and the Viking 195 Turbo was one of the engines that was in the running for me. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I went with Titan originally, but in doing more and more and more research, watching all the videos, watching, and more importantly, not the manufacturer's videos, but watching you guys out there, a lot of 130s that have been happening lately, a lot of guys in Texas flying them, every single person has nothing but accolades to say for the Titan, uh, excuse me, for the, for the Viking engines. Um, and so I reached back out to Alyssa. We talked a little bit, talked about some options, lead times, customization. And long story short, guys, I am a Viking engine customer now. So uh, the good news is, is that the engine that's going to go on the front of this Super Duty is not going to be here in nine months or eight months or six months. It's going to be here in about a week and a half uh, ready to go. The only thing that we'll be waiting a, a slightly longer on is the propeller because it is custom built for the order, um, and that comes from Duke Propellers, and I'm getting custom colors and everything, and that only takes about a month or so, so that'll be drop shipped directly to me. But we're gonna be doing a, a bunch of videos on this engine, receiving the engine, um, installing the engine, uh, hopefully covering a lot of the things that uh, other uh, Zenith builders may have questions on that you didn't maybe get from Viking's awesome uh, videos that they put out. I'm also gonna put a link down below to a video that Jan from Viking did just yesterday, uh, almost an hour long video covering everything specifically to the 195 Turbo. Any question you had that you might have had, any doubts, questions, reliability, sourcing, anything like that is answered in that video. Now it is a long video, it's over an hour long, but I encourage you, if you're just out in the workshop, put it on the TV, put it on your phone, just listen to what he has to say, uh, because these are big investments and you want to get all the facts, and I think you're going to get a lot of your questions answered in that video. So guys, again, I, I appreciate you watching. Sorry to a few of you out there who thought the rant was unwarranted. I did post it in the Zenith forums. Not as a, a, a rant session, but more that if you are about to start ordering your engine, you may want to start thinking about it now because there are some considerations uh, with lead times in that, and you may not even be able to get the engine you want. On a side note, if you have already ordered your Titan engine or you have one or you're building one or whatever, I do have a brand new in the box and I'm gonna show you pictures here in the video, fully complete, ready to install uh, firewall forward kit for the IO370. It'll also work for the Aerosport 375. It'll work for the Lycoming 360. So that's cowling, engine mount, all the hoses, remote oil uh, filter, I even have the heat kit, which was an option. I have the entire thing sealed in bags, ready to go here in the US. No six to eight week lead time. Uh, and I even have the original crate and everything. So if you're looking for one of those, you know somebody, I'm not looking at parting it out. I'm looking at keeping it together and uh, getting that to a builder who is in need of one of those. Otherwise, I'll just get it back to Zenith somehow and we'll work on that. So. 
Hey guys, I appreciate you watching. You wanna stay tuned. Our panel's getting cut. This, I uh, actually got cut. They're redoing something. Uh, we'll be getting our panel cut uh, delivered next week sometime. So you're gonna start seeing videos on the Dynon panel going in, some wiring. Uh, obviously with the engine ramped up now, we're gonna be seeing some updates on the engine uh, being delivered and, and being installed. So you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe to the video. If you don't wanna miss it, if you don't wanna subscribe, don't subscribe, I don't care. But uh, if you do like what we're, the content I'm putting out, please like and subscribe, it does help the channel. Uh, and again, guys, sorry about the rant the other day, but things are looking up. And uh, to all the other Viking engine owners out there, I am happy to be part of the Viking family and looking forward to meeting up soon at an air show or gathering near you or me or wherever. Um, also, for those interested in the uh, Super Duty Firewall Ford kit, uh, I am located in Wisconsin, about two hours south of Oshkosh. So if you're anywhere in the Midwest, it'd be real easy for you to come pick it up here. Uh, otherwise, we, you know, we can work something out. So again, guys, thanks a lot for watching. It's Adam with Aeroworks, and we'll see you on the next video.